All right, so I just want to talk a little bit about uh, supporting our ministry, just talk about uh, what, it need, what we need as a ministry. So, first of all, we are a nonprofit organization. We don't, we don't make money at these conferences. We're not professional conference putter on it. We just, we feel called to, do, to keep this ministry alive because we believe it really changes people's lives and it makes you better people. So, every conference, usually Bob Dwayne does this, but he's not here this time, so I have to do it. So, uh, we ask for your contribution financially. So, uh, again, we don't have any paid staff. We don't, we do have one person that we pay for our website. That's about it. Um, but everything else is all volunteers. And the other thing is we've tried to keep this conference relatively inexpensive so everybody can go. Like, I don't want to leave anybody out if they're not able to pay. So, the, so when people get more, they can help those people come to these conferences as well. So uh, we're asking you to give today. We have many ways to do that. On the screen, if you use your phone and QR code that, that'll go to our donation page on our site. There's these cards that are in your views. I don't know if you've seen those, but if you're not, if you don't want to do it on your phone right now, you can fill these out, put it in an envelope, and, and drop it off in the basket. Or even if you need to take it home and do that. But but we to keep this thing alive and with all the costs of everything continuing to rise, so you know, our, our costs are going up as well. So um, we, we appreciate any donation, any we have a monthly option as well. You can get ten dollars a month, five dollars a month, however you want to do it. Uh, that that you know, we need it. So Dave, you have anything to add? Yeah, I was just gonna add, you know, one of the things that has been very liberating for me and my wife is that we like many of y'all probably do, we put ten percent of our income aside and it's gotta go somewhere, right? We support our parish, we support the CPLC, Catholic Radio, and just let this be a part of it. I'm a monthly donor and one of the blessings is that every month it's on an automatic deduction. And so I see in my account that I think in my case twenty-five dollars comes out and it reminds me that I was at the men's conference. It reminds me of the talks that we heard this morning. And so it's an automatic just reminder that I'm giving to the uh, kind of brothers for Christ and that you can as well. Some people here to give much more than that. You can give a thousand, five thousand dollars. And so just do what you can. And then Rick mentioned the two different ways that you're able to give, either the form in the, uh, in the pew or just to this cool uh, QR code uh, as well. And we've always said, if anything that we collect over and above what we need to, to pay for this goes to charity. Uh, it goes to the radio station. It goes to uh, Miracles for America or whatever. Uh, it goes to Catholic education. So anything over and above will go to a charity. It won't go in our pockets. So just, you know, we, again, we're, the non we're a nonprofit and we, uh, we are so blessed though, because uh, you guys have supported us over the years. I mean, to be able to bring three great speakers in this year, I mean, these guys, there's three keynote speakers here. Like, we could have one of them and be a conference by himself, but we, we wanted to get, you know, energized to get all these guys, because they're such, and they were all available, so I, so I was lucky to get them, so. But anyway, so consider giving, again, just fill out one of these and put it in an envelope, or just do the QR code, or any, any way you want to, you can even get cash. The guys got to hand the baskets out now, and if you have cash, you can put that in as well, however you want to do it, and again, support our vendors, support uh, the, the speakers, and all that back there. But uh, thank you, you've always been generous, and we really appreciate it. Yeah. All right, I also want to mention about the, I don't know if they're taking some of these out, but right now there's only two questions in here for the, the speakers. I don't know if people have been coming and getting them, but uh, if you have a question, later on there's going to be a panel where we'll ask the three different speakers uh, questions, but please fill out a little card and put them in here. And also, uh, prayer requests here, there's a lot more of those, there's probably about 20 or 30 people who have done that, so please avail yourselves of the opportunity to put your prayer requests in there as well. these all year long, so put your prayer requests in and our team will be praying for you. So, with that, I'll let you go ahead and announce what we're doing next. We're doing... Yeah, well, we are going to, in uh, just about five minutes, uh, is it going to be uh, Deacon Alex, or, um, yeah, Deacon Alex will uh, bring out the, our blessed Lord and the, the blessed sacraments, and as I mentioned, everybody has an A, B, or C on their 
uh, name tag. If your tag has a C on it, uh, yeah, here we go. There's the schedule at 11.30. And if you have a C, please remain here and remain in adoration for 30 minutes. You'll hear the bell ring. If you have a B, you'll go to confession, which is all in the Great Hall, which is right over here. I think there are close to 20 priests. Is that right, Rick? Yes. Uh, about 20 priests have availed themselves today for our, the purpose of our confession, a third will be going at a time. And then if you have an A on your name tag, uh, you go to lunch. And then at 12, you switch. The uh, A's will be in adoration, and you see how it works there. Uh, so we'll begin that here in just a few minutes. So what we want to try to avoid is people leaving when we're bringing in Jesus. So if, if, if you're not scheduled for adoration, uh, you know, you can exit before we bring out Jesus, you're welcome to come back after your after reconciliation or lunch, but we don't want to disrupt the session, so that's all I got. Yeah, all right, that's all I got as well. This is Rick mentioned, the uh, Guadalupe Radio Network, who um, I work with, has been a beneficiary of the generosity of the Catholic Lives of Christ, especially through our Summer Speaker Series event, and so as Rick said, the money doesn't go to anybody other than charities uh, like GRN, so I'm very grateful for that. All right, so we'll just uh, wait a few, few minutes and then uh, go ahead and break off to where you're going according to the letter on your name tag. Thank you so much. We still have a lot later on this afternoon as well, including Dr. David Andrews who will be speaking to us.